welcome back to the channel everyone i have another subscriber request <laughs> trying to go through this list it's a big one the t28 prototype guide i've got a tips and tricks playlist i'm putting together so if there's a tank you're struggling with shoot over there hopefully there's a video that uh, can help you out but diving right into the t28 prototype so the thing about it <laughs> is it's a pretty slow tank so so positioning is very key with it with slower armored tanks, I prefer the recommended route more toward the center while keeping yourself exposed to your team. So you always have that support with you. And you'll kind of see what I mean in these two back-to-back -back replays. So here, I at the very beginning, I'm looking at my lineup, which primarily consists of the enemies having mediums, um, lights and same with us as well. So the battle is most likely happening over here. So we already have tank destroyers kind of lined up in this position. It's not very effective for me to <laughs> sit all the way back here with them. I need to be more in a position to get a different angle on the enemy. I do have some armor. I do have to be careful because I can still get quite easily penned, but if I angle correctly, this thing does have some, and you'll see that. So here I am. I'm cutting, once again, more center. I'm keeping myself exposed on the side of where my team is at. And I'm, very, I'm being very, very aware with how I'm positioning myself according to where my team is and understanding where the enemy is. So I'm not really... I've got... It has okay gun depression, but you want to keep yourself more so on hills that are not very steep with this thing and much more on flatter ground and you'll notice that in these two replays so here i'm trying to get an angle where i can either snap a shot off the waffen traeger um, and this vk pushing up on me i know i've got a better dpm than him so this kind of puts him in a bad spot and i'm trying to when he comes in at me I'm trying to back up and utilize my team, those destroyers behind me, to nail him to uh, give me some additional support. So as a tank destroyer, you always have to be thinking in terms of support. Now, as I had mentioned, this tank does have some armor, and you notice that when the VK was trying to take a shot at me, angling this tank also very much so helps. You can't side scrape in it. You have more armor in the front, and even when the VK was aiming at me, you notice that I was in my third person view, trying to guesstimate where he was gonna shoot me and then have it hopefully hit my gun manlet. Because if I can have him somewhat hit that, I can most likely bounce around, or when turning my turret that way, it helps strengthen it as well. So using your third person view, paying attention to where the enemy is pointing their cannon, angling accordingly, you can get some bounces as you were able to see in that last replay. So here I'm kind of doing the same thing. I'm moving with my team. I'm playing a supportive role. I'm a tank destroyer, so I need to play that supportive role for my team. And you'll notice that I'm playing also more of the center map position because I'm slower. Even though I have a lot of my team on the right hand side, I'm not completely aggressively moving up toward the center. I'm using the landscape, I'm using my team, and I realize over here on the left, we have a big bit of a lack of support. So I'm trying to help them, and we have a lot of our teammate over on the right-hand side. So I have fairly amount of confidence that they can handle that side, whereas the center position, my team needs a little bit of help here. So the other thing is, even though I do have some armor, I'm never trying to 100% rely on it. You'll notice I'm still using the landscape, like the hills and whatnot, to pop out from, shoot, and then back away from. And if there's any time that I'm having to rely on my armor 100%, then I'm trying to angle it as much as I can. So um, I'm... <laughs> really trying to keep these guys down, pop a shot, um, back up behind cover. I unfortunately got hit right there. And here I'm kind of in a little bit of trouble because this guy's got more hit points. I do have better DPM. 
and I'm really trying not to let him get behind me or to the sides to HE me. Um, and so <laughs> there was really only so much we could do here in this position, but this hopefully gives you an idea of how to play the tank. So the biggest takeaways are number one, you have to play that supportive role, the tank destroyer. Number two, you got to pay attention to where your team is. And as they're spotting enemies, understand where that lineup is and how to position yourself. Number three is you do have some armor. Angling is crucial, but try to use the landscape as well and as much as you can to also protect yourself. And also while being in that third person view, if you don't have any landscape to protect yourself behind, um, like I said, use that third person view to understand where they're pointing their cannon at and you can bounce some rounds. So hopefully this was helpful. Um, this is the muffin here. You guys stay cool and keep tanking.